Hey guys, welcome back. So about to dive into another episode of My Hero Academia from Season 2. This is Episode 37, Katsuki Bakugu Origin. So we're going to learn a bit more about this kid. He's teamed up with Deku right now, taking on All Might in one of the, the teacher-student challenges, the final exams. So Bakugu has not spoken to Deku at all. He doesn't like Deku. He's been his main antagonist for a, a couple of seasons. And he hasn't really won himself over in my eyes at all. Like I said in my last reaction, I, I don't like bullies and this kid is just a big bully. So we're going to have a, an origin story about him, maybe. So we might learn a bit about his character, his home life, what made him be the, the guy he is today. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they, how they work together, if they indeed do. Deku's cool. I mean, he's willing to try, but Bakugu's just, you know, a dick. Hopefully he wins me over. I would love for him to redeem himself in my eyes. We shall see. Okay, so as you know, this is a timer-based reaction, so grab your copy, watch along. I also have a Patreon with early and exclusive release content. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Coming to the end of Season 2, by the way. You keep rubbing me the wrong way. Why? He just kind of considers Deku a threat. But he didn't like Deku even before he had powers. There was that scene where, um, Bakugu fell in, in some water and Deku would kind of idolize this kid because he was quirkless and Bakugu had this amazing fire ability. He just kind of ran to his aid. So it just kind of showed that Deku has his heart, like he's brave and he will run into danger. Like in that other episode where Bakugu was attacked by the big slime monster thing. And once again, Deku just ran into the fray to kind of help him out. And that to Bakugu is confusing to him. He doesn't like this kid. And he doesn't want any help. I mean, he's all-powerful, right? He's got a very strong, amazing quirk. He's a powerful kid. He doesn't need help. So for someone who, in his eyes, is weaker than him, wanting to help is an insult. Like, I had a guy like this in, in school as well. Like, his name was Mark. And he was bigger than me, tougher. Uh, lived up around the corner. And from... Day one in primary school, he got a kind of had it in for me, and we never ever became friends. He'd bully, push me around. We never fought physically because I was always, you know, I could I could talk my way out of anything, and I was a faster runner than him as well. But even into ad adulthood, I've never ever wanted to make friends with him. He, I just I just did not like him because of the way he treated me. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like, like a lifelong rivalry between these two. Yeah, they need to talk. And it's ironic saying that I had an antagonist who I didn't want to talk to. I don't forgive. You're walking in the same direction, you cock. Okay. Good plan, champ. Me too. Okay. Hmm, sure is. They're up against basically Superman. Right? He's this show's Superman.
Your power isn't needed to pass. See? Too busy fighting each other. They didn't see the attack happen. Is he going to go all out? This sense of intimidation. Yeah, try to survive. <laughs> Good advice though, man. <laughs> Normally, Oh, no, no, he's having a flashback. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Then they're not gelling. What is driving this kid, man? Holy shit. Oh, he's not holding back. <laughs> Punched him so hard he puked. He's trapped. Deck is probably the only one that, who can stand up to All Might because he has the same ability. Focus the punch. what it means to be a hero. Why are you so angry and jealous? Yeah, and not just about your power. Well, Wow. Punched in the face by Deku. He's going to have a little quiet word to him.
They're heavy for him. They must be pretty heavy. He's because he's super strong. Stating the obvious as always. <laughs> the most amazing hero always wins in the end. Wow. You damn nerd. I'll kill you, God. He's testing him. You're pissing me off. Gave him his arm cannon. Oh no, he's hurt himself. They're actually working together? Although it's going against every grain in his body. Envy, hate, pursuit, rejection, and pride. So his time's running out. He has to take him down. All Might can't be beaten by a couple of students. Can he? I mean, yeah, they just got to get away. What the hell? Gum. Oh shit. Smashing the weapons. Now die. <laughs> Ow. 
Ow. Work together. The greatest hero. What else you got? Shit, he, he is powerful, man. Through the gate. I'm gonna send you flying. <laughs> what do you mean, die? <laughs> Get through the gate. Ugh. Ugh. These kids are going to need some treatment. Oh, they, they restricted his power. Ooh. He's still being outmatched. Go to sleep, young men. So he was really hurting him hurting himself to fight back? You damn nerd. Please move. Ugh. Is he going to revert? Yeah, good kid. That's the scene I was talking about.
Do your best. Good job. Belly. Hmm. What? <laughs> he is out. Midoriya Shonen. Mother, mother. Nice. I still like it how we're getting, like, it's a narration from Deku in the future. The story of how he became the world's greatest hero. Here we go. Uh-oh. I was waiting for these guys to show up again. The hand guy, that's what I call him. Who are these guys? Okay. As I, as I kind of anticipated, and I guess we'll see in the preview for next week, but um, yeah, it's got to end with the, the villains making an appearance, right? And we just had two new characters turn up. The one with the face and the... Vampire girl. It looks like she had fangs. I'm going to do, do the next episode in a minute anyway, so I don't have to wait too long. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around Bakugo's... His, um... His mindset. I mean, showed him as a young kid and he idolised All Might. Like, he was watching that fight and... It's kind of mimicking his moves and like saying, like, the best heroes always win. And we all know he kind of considers himself to be, or maybe that's his inner turmoil, but he considers, considers himself to be uh, the, the greatest hero himself. And he needs to win to prove that. So his drive is immense and he doesn't suffer any challenges or rivals easily. And that's the only reason I think he, he just hates Deku so much. He He's threatened by him. Which is the case in most... In most bullying scenarios, right? The bully sees something... In the other kid or person they're harassing... Because they see something they don't like in themselves. Encounter. Oh shit. Oh wow. Encounter. So yeah, I like when the, the show gets serious. I mean it's comic relief for most for the most part. It's fun, it's lighthearted. But when it goes dark, it gets very interesting and I like that. I mean Stain was a really, really cool villain to have introduced and um yeah, it was quite menacing and, and threatening. Can you hear the rain? 
this is my kind of day, man, honestly. So in regards to Bakugu's origin, yeah, we just had a flashback to when he was a kid. Nothing too big revealed, but we did kind of learn a little bit about his motivation. So he wants to be the world's greatest hero. And to do that, he needs to win all the time. He needs to go in 100% and you know not ever be overpowered and that means even his rivals he's got to be better than everyone else so when he sees somebody as a potential threat yeah he knows Deku's got a good heart he's seen that in him so that is um yeah he doesn't like it so <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to come around to Bakugu's side like I said he just kind of like he just rubs me the wrong way so we shall see I mean it's funny to me it's funny for me to be so invested in like an anime where it's just cartoon characters essentially that um I get so aggrieved with uh the, one of the kids who's put in there as an antagonist to the main hero and just have that rivalry I mean uh only from personal experience I guess I just I can't stand it, it drives me nuts anyway I'm going to dive into the next episode, Encounter. Woohoo! Going to be cool. And it's a beautiful day, like I said. Raining. I love it. Okay, guys. Catch you next week. Thanks for watching.